Suffering from high arches brings a lot of issues such as stabbing or burning pain in the feet, also known as plantar fasciitis, instability in the ankles, sharp pain in the ball of the foot, which is a condition known as metatarsalgia, buckling in and curling downwards of toes to deal with the pain, which could also lead to severe corns and calluses, also known as claw toes. These problems I faced were my motivation to test many products and find the following list of the best work boots for high arches. In first place, I selected the Thoroughgood American Heritage 6-inch work boots. These Thoroughgood American Heritage work boots came with shock absorption footbeds which provided my feet the cushioning they so much needed and fiberglass shanks, which were essential in giving me the stability necessary to substantially improve my experience while using this specific pair of boots. The best way to make sure that you're not going to slip and get injured when walking on slippery surfaces at the place you work at is by getting work boots such as this one that has a max wear wedge slip resistant outsole that gave me perfect traction when walking on those kinds of surfaces. Moreover, these thorough good work boots came manufactured with electric shock resisting soles that are capable of resisting up to 18,000 volts, which might seem too much but is a pretty nice security feature to have when you work near live wires like some workers do. Another great protective feature these thorough good boots have is their safety toes which make them perfect for workers exposed to constantly being around heavy objects that could fall at any time and crush their toes. I have the guarantee that these thorough good American Heritage work boots will endure my demanding type of use for many years as they came built with the widely known Goodyear Storm Welt construction method that has proved me time and time again that is a great manufacturing technique that makes any pair of work boots last for years. In second place, I chose the Wolverine Overpass 6 inch composite work boots. What if I told you I found a pair of work boots that's not only protective and durable, but that also substantially helps you in your fight against high arches? Yes. I'm talking about these Wolverine Overpass work boots that came with impressive features such as their ortholite footbeds and flexible construction that were both essential in providing my feet the arch support they needed to let them rest and avoid any kind of pain. To make the deal with this work boots even greater, the guys at Wolverine added impressive safety features such as slip, water, oil, and abrasion resistant outsoles that gave me enough traction to walk on any slippery surface without the fear of slipping and injuring myself. Moreover, these Wolverine work boots came with composite safety toes that surpassed well-respected quality standards, which gave me the mental peace knowing that I would never have to face any awful experience. Additionally, the boots came with a premium waterproofing and abrasion resistant toes which gave me that extra layer of safety and convenience to be able to adapt myself to any environment. In terms of durability, these Wolverine Overpass work boots came built on an athletic counter welt construction which not only gave me a great experience of comfort but also gave the boots that level of ruggedness most work boots need to be able to survive on good shape for years. Third. In this list of the best work boots for high arches, I picked the Timberland Pro 52562 Endurance 6 inch work boots. To make sure that my feet arches were properly supported, these boots offered great features such as single density open cell PU footbeds and anti fatigue midsoles, which were essential for letting my feet rest and recover properly. Moreover, they came with fiberglass shanks that gave added support and stability which become vital when you're out there working on your feet for 10 to 12 hours suffering from high arches. To top things off, these Timberland 52562 work boots came with mesh antimicrobial linings and padded top collars which made the experience of using them much better as they kept my feet smelling fresh and comfy. I'm the type of worker that likes to be safe at any time which is why I love the slip, oil, and abrasion resistant outsoles these Timberland shoes came with, as they gave me reliable traction when walking on slippery surfaces, thus keeping me safe from any slips and injuries. Additionally, these work boots came with steel toes and a steel flex puncture resistant underfoot protection that kept my toes and feet insulated from any risks from both top and bottom. To make their work boots even safer, 
The guys at Timberland added other great protective attributes such as electrical hazard protection which gave me the assurance I wouldn't get electrocuted when working near live wires. These work boots go above and beyond in terms of durability. I mean, they came with features such as a rugged full grain leather, a cement construction and abrasion resistant toes which made these Timberland boots to be not only tough to beat, but also comfortable and with a short break in time. Then, in fourth place, I decided on the Keen Utility Flint Mid Work Boots. Have you ever really gotten a pair of work boots that did actually help in dealing down the pain created by your high arches? This Keen Utility Flint Work Boots did exactly that as they came with stability shanks, dual density midsoles, and Anki cut footbeds that cushioned and supported my feet arches in every step I took even when I had to work on my feet for 12 hours straight on heavy surfaces. Additionally, these work boots came with attributes such as breathable mesh panels and side cutouts which aided in the ventilation of my feet, keeping them dry and smelling fresh. To add a bit more comfort to the mix, these boots came with padded top collars that made the experience of putting on and taking off the boots much better. The safety steel toes these Keen Utility Flint work boots come with also aided me in maintaining my mind free of worries, as I knew if some of the heavy tools laying around had fallen into my toes during the testing period, nothing would have happened. Finally, I chose the Danner Vicious 4.5 inch work boots to be in 5th place in this list. With impressive features such as dual density EVA footbeds and a trail guard platform, these Danner Vicious work boots provided my feet with that arch support they much needed. Moreover, knowing that you spent your money in a pair of work boots with moisture protected leather that keeps your feet smelling fresh and a speed lace system that provides a great fit is something that you're going to enjoy if you get this pair of Danner work boots. Seeing how your hard earned money is spent on a pair of work boots that's not only supportive but also really protective is something to be proud of, right? The good news is that's exactly what happened to me when I got these Danner Vicious work boots, as they came with oil and slip resistant outsoles which gave me perfect traction on slippery surfaces and composite toes which provided that extra layer of protection to my toes that all workers need. Additionally, the guys at Danner added other safety features such as a reliable waterproofing membrane and electrical hazard protection which kept my feet dry when exposed to the rain or water and free of any worries when working near live wires. Most work boots marketed for high arches don't have quality features that make them durable. In fact, most of them won't last you more than a year as they're made with cheap materials. Luckily, these Danner Vicious work boots came with great features such as their abrasions resistant toe and heel caps and with a full grain leather that made the boots rugged and resistant to any type of beating. Well, that was my list of the best work boots for high arches. This video came as a result of hours and hours of work, so if you find time to drop a like or just share the video, that would be awesome. Also, you will find more information about the rest of the products in the description down below. Thanks.